Welcome, welcome in the name of Jesus. I welcome everyone. Sunday service, Periscope, Periscope. Thank you once again. I'm going to talk to you when the favor of God surrounds you. When the favor of God surrounds you. You need the favor. You need the favor of God surround you in Jesus' name. When the, when, when the favor of God surrounds you, you will like a shelter and advance every adversity will be turned into a victory. When you are surrounded by the favor of God, every adversity will turn into victory. Joseph is a perfect example of, of this. Regardless of his position with his family, while he in prison or with the fellow, Joseph's position with God never changed. His position with God always changed his presence condition. So when you are surrounded by favor, no matter where you are, no matter what situation you are in, the favor of God will defend into a victory. You will be victor. You will win. When you are surrounded by the enemy and the favor of God is upon you, the favor of God will favor you. You will overcome your enemy. In the book of Genesis 29, verse 2 to 4, the Bible says, The Lord was with Joseph and, his pro and, and, and he prospered. The Lord was with Joseph and he prospered. He, he lived in the house of his Egyptian master who his master saw that the Lord was with him and that the Lord gave him success in everything he did. Joseph found favor in his eyes and became his attendant in his master's, putting him in charge of his household. You see, Joseph, when you look at the character of Joseph, beside Joseph was in, in a, a slave, he was in a condition, the way he was, he was a young man. And, and they went through, because of his brothers, sold him to, the, to, 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 to Egypt as a slave. So when he was in the, in the fellow's house, he, he was doing the work very well. He never thought of anything. He, he knew that God Almighty is with him. So he was doing everything very good. And he never, never became rude. Or he didn't think of why his brother did so. He was, he was just doing everything perfect. He was doing good. He did everything very well. If he was rude or if he was misbehaving, then Pharaoh would have killed him. So, beside that, in your circumstance, in your situation, when you are, you are stressing is so bad, that's when the blessings of God is about to come. You see, here is a slave man, a young man, in the hands of his, his master, whereby he's a slave. A slave is a person who's working, no pay, just working, 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 and they can work you so many hours. They, they work you, they don't have mass on you, they work you very hard. But, 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 but the Bible tells us that the favor of God was upon Joseph. Joseph, everything he was doing, he, he was succeeded. He succeeded. That's why the Bible is saying that the Lord was with Joseph and he prospered. Joseph prospered in the house of Pharaoh. He was prospered in the hands of his master, the, the master. When he, when he was touching everything, everything was successful. When he was doing his job, Pharaoh was blessed. He, he had more wealth in his, his Pharaoh's house. So now the Bible says, Joseph also rose to the top. I believe that God will allow you to rise to the top in every situation. Your position with him can change the condition that you are present in. David was brought up out of a pit. Joseph was brought out of slavery and out of a prison. Let's look at this. David was brought up out of a pit. Joseph was brought out of the slavery and up out of prison. Moses was brought out, out, out of a basket, floating down the river. You see, you see the favor of God. These are the favor. David was favored. 
Uh, Joseph was favored. Moses is another favor. So when the favor of God, it doesn't matter where you are. This was everyone who was in a very dangerous situation. They could have died, but when the favor of God appeared to them, the Lord rescued them and prepared them a big position in, the, in, the, in his side. When you look at Moses, Moses was nearly dead. He, they were, during the time of Moses, Pharaoh was killing the children. The children of Egypt, were, they killed them because they wanted to, 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 to finish the children of Israel, the, the Jews' children. Because they were afraid that the Jews, is, the population of Jews is, is growing and now they want to, to, to eliminate them so that they cannot grow. And then they decided to kill every male child. Jo Moses was among during that time when a Lord was slaughtering the children. When Pharaoh was slaughtering children, the same thing which happened to Jesus. Jesus also during his time, the Lord slaughtered a lot of children, including, including the only children that were born. So their women cried, their mother cried nonstop. Even this time when Moses when Moses also, the children were slaughtered until the mother, the mother cried, cried and they, 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 they could not cry anymore. So Moses was brought up out of a basket floating down, down the river. Isaac was brought up in the midst of famine. Isaac also was brought up in the famine, in the time of famine. God will bring you up. God wants you to give you favor in your time of trouble. And your position with him will always change your condition. You will always be at the top and never at the bottom. You will be the head, not the tail. The Lord will change your circumstances. No matter what your situation is, no matter where you are right now, the Lord will change your circumstances within 24 hours. We have very good, a lot of examples where God can change someone to something else. It can change you. You will sing a song. Look at our, our, our president, uh, Obama. God changes circumstances from black America, uh, black America to a president of USA. You, you imagine that it was a, 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 a favor of God. If it was not a favor, Obama could not be a president of USA. Being a black and being his background, Obama, he could not be a president of USA. So your circumstances will change when the favor of God is upon you, no matter whether you went to school or no. Look at this Joseph. Joseph did not get a chance to go to school. And he was working, but God favored him and gave him a lot of wisdom and knowledge. David is another one. I don't know. I've no, I, I, I don't know if even David, if David went to school because David was taking care of the sheep of his father. And they, when favor of God fell upon him, he was, he was able to be picked and he was, became a king. And Moses, I know Moses went to school because he was in the Pharaoh's, uh, Pharaoh, Pharaoh's house. So Moses was educated. But you see, I'm not talking about the education or the credit. Here I'm talking about the favor. The favor which came to Esther, an orphan, who was just a Jewish woman. The favor came to, came to her and she became a queen. So no matter when the favor of God is upon you, it will change your circumstances. People will call you name. Tomorrow they will come and say, they look at you, they will not find you. Your life will change Everything will change. The favor of God can bring you out of your difficulties and turn your diversity, diversities around for good. David says, the favor of God keeps my enemy from trembling over me. The Bible is full of with the examples of people who were in the great need, but the favor of God came on them in a new way and the, their situation turned around. Think about Nun facing the greatest challenge of his life. The whole heart was about to be destroyed by a flood. And God gave him a numerous, a numerous job of building a huge boat. Not to, not to, not, not, not to mention the, the, the gathering of animals. No, no, no doubt. 
no was tempted to get discouraged. No, no, is it no or no? No, no was was tempted. No was tempted to be discouraged. Sometimes you can get a big assignment, a huge challenge. You feel like you are you are almost to give up. Sometimes you are doing something. It is not growing. You are not. It, you are not moving. You are not doing. You are not moving at all. You feel like you are so discouraged. For example, you have been praying, trusting God for something, and you find that nothing is happening. Now the favor of God will show up, and then sometimes you just get discouraged and the blessings go, or you give up before you 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 can continue. You you give up before time. Now, when the Lord was talking, when the Lord speak to Nu, told Nu, peel the hack, the flood is coming. Nu was talking to people, calling people, nobody turn up. Nu was preaching the gospel, nobody show up. You can be in the church where nobody does not want to show up. You can preach, you can preach, preach, preach. Nobody's interested to show up. But the really is, when the favor of God comes, they will turn every circumstances around. Now, no was tempted to, be, to get discouraged. Yet, amazingly, the Bible says, no found favor in the sight of God. In another way, God was blessed with no, so the favor of God came on him in a fresh, new way, giving him unusual ability. God assisted him. He was able to build the ark to save his family and the animals and himself. Consider Ruth. Her husband had died. The land was in, in, in severe famine. Consider Ruth. 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 Her husband died. And the land was severe famine. And she and her mother-in-law, Naum, did not have any food. They were practically starving to death. Ruth went out to, to the field every day and found behind the harvest, picking up wherever left of, of a green. They had missed. You see, Ruth, Naomi, these two women, they were starving. They, they, they has, their husband died, and they were widows. Now they were starving to death, but the favor of God fell upon them. Ruth found favor with the owner of the field. The owner told his workers to leave handfuls of green on purpose for, for Ruth. Let me tell you that when the favor of God fall upon you, it doesn't matter the situation you are. Ruth and Naomi, Naomi and Ruth, they, they didn't know what to do, where to beg, where to, what, where to go. But, they, but Ruth decided to go and look the leftover in the green, in the farms, people, when people are harvesting, they sometimes they can forget some stuff or things which drops or things which they, they, they can live in the farm. So she went there to pick leftover. But the favor fell upon her to the owner, to the owner of the farm. That the owner told his workers to leave land full of green on purpose for root. Notes again, the favor of God came during the crisis and before wrong, Ruth and Naomi's circumstances changed around and their needs were surprised in abundance. Your, sub, your needs will be a, a surprised in abundance. Every need that you are looking, God will surprise the abundance. Their circumstances changed. Your situation can be changed. As long as you, you, you believe in God, you hope in Him, you put your trust in Him. So now these two ladies... Their circumstances turn around and their needs were surprised in abundance. Therefore, your needs will be surprised in the name of Jesus. Your needs will be surprised. Your needs will, 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 will be surprised. Surprise. Your needs will surprise. The Lord Almighty will surprise every need that you are looking in the name of Jesus. Joseph is another biblical example of someone who found favor. No matter what other people did to him, no matter where they put him, 
Il continue.